welcome. This is Adam from CNYC, and today I wanted to give a bit of a channel update. Uh, I usually post videos uh, Tuesdays and Fridays, and if I feel led to post any others in between or after, I do that. Um, there wasn't a video posted this past Tuesday because I was reported by YouTube uh, for a specific video I uploaded called The Church in India. Now, as you can see on my dashboard, it was removed. And the reason why it was removed, let me see if I could uh, make this bigger, it was removed because the video has been deemed inappropriate content. Now, again, this video really didn't have any inappropriate content. It was displaying things similar to my previous video called The Church in China, as you could see below, The Church in China here. Um, and it posted the plight of Christians in India, how they are persecuted, how they're driven out of their churches, how they're even driven out of their homes sometimes um, and beaten. So because of this, YouTube decided to take down my video. Also, I was issued a strike uh, and deemed and given a violation uh, for community guidelines. Now, I wanted to make this video a, to give a channel update, but also to encourage you to continue to preach the gospel. It says in Proverbs 31, verses 8 to 9, I'm reading the NIV. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. The, the poor and needy. So, yeah, that's, that's what we should do. And don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Uh, regardless of what anyone says, whether YouTube or otherwise, um, God has given you speech um, and he expects you to use it according to these verses to stand up for those who, who can't speak for themselves, uh, to defend the poor, to defend the needy. So again, um, I apologize for that video not coming in on Tuesday. I didn't realize it until Wednesday, and I had a few things in just my personal life to deal with. So uh, what I'll do instead today, which I'm uh, recording this on Friday, Friday, I believe, I forgot what date it is, Friday the 5th, what I'll do is um, I'll post a few videos today to make up for um, what was not posted on Tuesday. What I plan on doing is posting a few, a few videos based on science, seeing um, how to preach the gospel through a scientific lens. Again, uh, Christ could be preached a myriad of ways, and I plan on preaching it that way through, through the scriptures, um, through historical evidence, through science, and through any other means which can prove that he does exist um, with irrefutable evidence. Uh, so again, I look forward to making future videos with you. And again, don't be discouraged when either the authorities, whether it be YouTube, the police, or anyone else tries to discourage you or infringe upon your natural right to exercise free speech, um, as well as living by these verses, to speak up for those who can't speak for themselves. This is Adam from CNYC, and I look forward to continuing to dive deep into the scriptures with you. Thank you. A few other things as well. Um, it's rather amazing how this is deemed inappropriate content, but again, things such as, uh, was it Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus, um, where she's basically naked as you see here that's not inappropriate content and that has 1.1 billion views and that's not taken down that's not inappropriate um or things such as Nicki minaj right we'll go to anaconda that's a pretty famous one that's not inappropriate content as you can see here that's not inappropriate so this is what we get to in the scriptures. Um, good. I think it's in Isaiah. I forget the exact verse. Ah, yes, Isaiah 520. 
it says, woe to those, and I'll actually bring this up here, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So this is what the nature of the world is. It's completely backwards to the truth. Um, yet again, don't be surprised. The scriptures tell us this. God himself told you this. Um, it says in 1 Peter, oh, surprise. Let me see that verse. I forgot it again. Ah, yes. 1 Peter 4.12. It says the following, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on to you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice inasmuch as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed, for the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer... Uh, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other criminal, any kind of criminal, or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed. But praise God that you bear that name. So again, as a Christian, you will suffer persecution. And persecution comes at different levels and at different angles. This is one of them. People will try to shut you up. People will try to subvert the truth. Uh, nevertheless... Do not be afraid. The only one you should fear is God. Because at the end of the day, you will have to stand before God. Uh, and you will have to give an account of what you did and what you didn't do. Don't hide your, your, um, your talents. Like in the parable of the talent, don't hide your gifts that God has given you. Continue to shine forth uh, no matter what people say. Uh, again, this is Adam from CNYC. I just wanted to add that addendum uh, came to me as I uh, as I finished the, the video, but um, this was really pressed upon my heart to to share these things uh, to really show you that at the end of the day you don't have anyone to fear but God. Let me just finish off with that verse. God, fire. It's in the it's in the gospel. Let me try to find it real quick. Ba -ba -ba. Fear not the one. Fear not the one. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. It's good verses. Fear not the one. Let's see. Let me try to show it up. I just want to bring it up so you can see it. Fear not the one. You can kill the body. Matthew 10, 28. There you go. All right, so let's go there together. Matthew 10, 28. Close that. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So at the end of the day, you only have to fear God. And God, remember, is on your side. Again, this is Adam from CNYC, and I look forward to continuing to make more and more videos um, preaching the gospel, defending the rights of the poor and the needy, and um, sharing the truth with you all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.